must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims in inside died when the ship lost primary power. Ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard.
cancel. Regained control of the platform, Shepard. I thought we were going to have to take on every damn collector here. Perhaps you should consider upgrading my hardware. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega 4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. And here I thought I'd had my betrayal and attempted murder for this year. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
We've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands to firewall 7164. Down there. Isn't that where we came in? We must be getting close to the end. This should come in handy. Get us the hell out of here. 
who's the man commander? I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful with the Collectors and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the Collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. 
The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays on the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. We would have found a way without any help from an AI. I'm sure you're right. You seem to do the impossible. But still... The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Back for another lesson. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I'm trying to remember... What was his name? Salarian Infiltration Specialist. Hunted Story Man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kinda reminds me of him. I should let you go. Talk more later. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? If I want to talk to you, I will. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? 
because I don't need the complication. Yes. Freaks you out, doesn't it? Leave me alone, Shepard. I don't want this. You're lying. Don't tell me what I feel. I've been here before and I know what I need. For me. Go away. I don't want you coming around here for a while. Kenneth, do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the Collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. We'll make it through. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them? Creep. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sedonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me.
of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they can afford to lose. Still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughter. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow. Trading group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system and that by limiting the slave trade, the council is violating their cultural rights. The indentured servitude market points with representatives decrying the unwanted controversy. Another difficult development for human expansion as the colony on horizon has been attacked. The council has pledged to investigate the matter thoroughly as a possible indication of the past of human galactic lives. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I... I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Wants to know. Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower One.
There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Just be glad you're still breathing. What happened? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. 
The monk said there was no time. The Sana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I cannot breathe. Please. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving.
he's waiting here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I uh, Hostile forces have to <laughs> I can see you. Yeah. Kill us! We'll go! We'll go! Hey, look! They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? I'm looking for someone, and you're not him. But... is it safe to come out? Seen anyone suspicious who isn't a merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here... When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. 
I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. If you don't like the work, just leave. Easier said than done. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! Yeah. <laughs>